Enuma Elish opens with a description of the world's primeval state before the creation took place. During this primordial period, the myth tells us, the world only contained two large bodies of water, the fresh water and the sea. Each of these bodies of water is personified as a deity. The fresh water appears as the god Apsu, and the sea water as Tiamat. Let's read the first few lines of the English translation by Wilfred George Lambert. When the heavens above did not exist, and earth beneath had not come into being, there was Apsu, the first in order, their begetter, and Demiurge Tiamat, who gave birth to them all. They had mingled their waters together before meadowland had coalesced and reed bed was to be found where not one of the gods had been formed or had come into being, where no destinies had been decreed. The basic mythical idea here is that prior to creation, the world contained only ancient waters. Surprisingly, a very similar notion appears in Genesis 1. In the beginning, God created heaven and earth, and the world was unformed and void with darkness upon the face of the deep water and a wind from God sweeping over the water. Here is the best way to explain these verses. In the beginning, God created heaven and earth is a general title referring to the entire story of creation. Only then does the process of creation begin in a chronological order. The first thing we are told is that the world was unformed and void. It contained only darkness, ancient deep waters called tehom in Hebrew, and wind. We therefore see that in this biblical creation story, the primeval material that preceded the world is a large body of water, just like in Enuma Elish. The Hebrew word for this body of water is also very interesting. Tehom is similar to the Akkadian word Tiamat. These two words are likely to be etymologically related to each other. The main difference is that in Akkadian the word is feminine, while in Hebrew it is masculine. In short, both the Mesopotamian and biblical traditions assume the existence of a large body of water prior to the creation of the world. And in both traditions, this body of water bears the same name, Tiamat or Tehom. This similarity seems too striking to be coincidental. <laughs>